Hey, Super Console Final Wars here, and today this is going to be the first chapter of Super Console Final Wars in Toka, Life or Death. Now, me and Super Burning Guns might have to come up with a new name for one of the movies, but, eh, pretty sure it's not that much of a challenge. Anyways. So, without further- oh, also, a little warning, this audiobook series might be a little bit more- slightly darker than all the other ones since you can kind of tell from the title itself not just that the storyline was kind of written like that so yeah may I warn you before I begin the first chapter so I might have to do a warning in the description below as well, since this audiobook series will be a slightly bit more darker than all the other audiobooks that I'm used on doing. <clears throat> so, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. Every day goes by in, to in Japan, especially around in Tokyo. Everyone was living their normal lives as usual. Well, however, there was something going on within the peace of this quiet and peaceful full city. And we will later soon realize what's going on. Everyone has been warned to keep an eye out in the middle of the night, mainly because of a, because of a very, very dangerous animal has wandered into the vil has wandered into the city, and he proved to be not alone. Others creatures appeared to follow right behind him. <clears throat> On top of one of the, the tallest buildings in Tokyo, a wide a was sitting was a person sitting down looking over the city he proved to be not normal as a normal human being because he was not supposed to be up this high he proved to have dragon wings gods of dorsal spines and an indoraptor tail his name was Super Godzilla Final Wars, and he was a man kaiju. He was the animal that the people, well, that everyone was warned to keep an eye out for. Super Final Wars prefers to hunt in the middle of the night. For the past few days, he's been, been hunting down innocent people. Well, not really innocent, more like robbers and creeps or perverts. But still, everyone has been told to keep an eye out. It's bad enough that they had to deal with... It was bad enough that innocent people had to deal with ghouls. Humanoid creatures that basically look have human appearance. But in the middle of the night, or in, rarely in the middle of the day, they actually prove to eat people. And they have strange, weird, but amazing abil powers. It was hard to tell who was... A a ghoul, or who was just a normal human being. Super Final Wars also proved to hunt some of the ghouls down as well. Tonight, he was hunting something a bit more or juicier. He was also hoping to bring back some food for his friends. King Rats had three, Zilla's had them, Super Burning Godzilla, Dark Dragon, Godzilla, Super Godzilla Earth and Mecha Super Godzilla Earth. And they brought their wives. And son. Super Final Wars forbid any of them from leaving their secret lair. Mainly because he wanted to protect his friends at all costs. So, he told them to stay at their at their secret base. He was the one who did all the hunting. Tonight he spotted a a group of, of teen, a gang full of teenagers 
and they were doing some bad stuff. Looks like I picked my next prey, my next meal. Super Final was jumped to one building to another. He jumped and jumped, keeping a low profile. <clears throat> but it didn't stop him for running into a ghoul or two. But he ended up running past them, not wanting to the fight. They didn't know this, but he owned the entire city proved to be his hunting ground. Even though he's been here for like three days. The gang thing were basically planning to it would cause some trouble for, or what, well, for a nice, this, this couple who were minding their own business. Before they knew it, one of their friends ended up getting dragged away. They all turned around and saw that their friend was getting dragged away in the darkness. They all rushed to help, but none of them came back. Super Final Wars was carrying bringing their body, and he's on top of his back, while holding one of them in his mouth. Well, the one that he was holding in his mouth was his own kill. Eventually, he ended up going into the sewers, and he ended up going to one particular part of the sewers that no one uses, or no one even goes down. Eventually, he met his friends. Sewer Final Wars, you're back! Ugh. Man, I'm starving. Sir Fires dropped the pile of body, so his friends can eat. All except for Mecha, because Super Godzilla Earth was not really hungry. Plus, he was a robot. Sir Fires took his kill somewhere else. He normally likes to feed alone. His friends, on the other hand, have been noticing his strange behavior. <clears throat> lately. Normally, has been acting like himself lately. Besides, they've been in this city for three days. Due to because Super Final Wars heard about the ghouls and... <clears throat> heard a little bit about their kind and what they're capable of. Would it make sense, really? Besides, two days ago, two ghouls tried to, tried to eat them, but Super Final Wars ended up killing them in the, in the process. His friends won't lie. They admire the protection that Super Final Wars was, was giving them. But they could help to feel like that he was being too overprotective. Plus, they weren't even allowed to leave the sewers. So Farmers only brought back the supplies and food that he brought back for them. <clears throat> and plus, they were getting tired of human flesh. And hopefully, they might actually get a word with their friends so that way he, they, he can get them to at least come out. Have for once in a while so they can get something else to eat. Ugh. Guys, this is getting boring. You said it, Super Godzilla Earth. You said it. It's getting boring eating human flesh. Like, don't get me wrong, I enjoy it, but this, like, every day, even though we've been here for like three days, it's getting boring. The reason how Super Final Wars and his team ended up here in the first place was because they lost a fierce battle uh, with an arch enemy the Super Final Wars' family. Not just that, almost every single man got Silla. <clears throat> hey Silla tells him, do you think you can get a word with Super Final Wars so we can come out outside and get something else to eat and drink? I'm getting tired of just eating humans for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, not to say we had to eat sewer gators and mice for for a midnight snack. 
I thought gators don't roam down here. I mean, crocodiles. Sewer crocodiles. <clears throat> Getting really tired of just... Ugh. Don't worry, I'll get a word with him. And Zola tells him he went to Super Final Works' own area where he likes to feed. Get alone. Hey, Super Final Wars? What is it, Zola tells him? Um, can I talk to you for a moment? Sure. Now, we appreciate you being over. Or we appreciate you protecting us, but don't you feel like that we should probably get out once in a while as well? So that way you don't have to do all the work? Getting the food and <clears throat> like, don't get me wrong. We admire your protect. Should we admire? We basically improve of you protecting us and bring back the food. But we're getting tired of just eating humans every single day, even though we've been here for like three days. So could you at least let us go out once in a while? Cause it's getting really boring down here. So far with Sai, he knows that he can't protect them all, all the time, and he knows that they can protect themselves. <sighs> if you get killed up there, I swear to God, I'm going to come after you. So that means, yes, but as long as you return before it's nightfall, well, and it better not be any longer than just a few hours until it's nightfall. But if you ask for my permission when it comes to nighttime, keep a high alert. Ghouls like to attack when it comes to night. So, capiche? Capiche? Don't make me regret this. Now go on before I might eat you next. <clears throat> Not literally, but I might steal your Mountain Dew. But even though you. I allowed you to keep it, even though I was the one who bought it. So let's tell us what ran down. Oh, guys, so far was giving us permission. He only allowed us. He allows us to go out there, but we have to return before it's nightfall. But if we choose to come out during his night time, we have to keep an eye out for ghouls. Oh yeah. But if we get killed, he's gonna come after us. Oh boy. By falling on the next day, everyone was out, out minding their own business. Yes. Finally, they were free. <clears throat> but they had to get rid of their stinky human breath. So that way, people won't assume that they're ghouls or something else like that. Sir Fireworks, on the other hand, was more like a loner. Oh. He rather preferred to be alone. Besides, it wasn't easy for him to protect his friends all the time and it wasn't really easy for him at all. Besides, Mamoto Prime, the monster that was basically the killer of his race, the man Godzilla species. Almost half of his family survived. The rest were killed by his hands. As a matter of fact, Mamuda Prime took over their base three days ago. Well, just about <clears throat> a month ago. And it ended up in Japan. They originally were in Australia, but they ended up in Japan just around a few weeks later. Things were already not looking so good for them. Besides, now they had to live with long-suffering ghouls.